Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, back with a, another video for our new player guide series being part seven, which we will unlock the uh, ship commander in access level seven. So I actually just got done uh, playing a uh, randoms battle. Uh, it was actually kind of funny because it was only, it was one human on each team. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so this is random battles uh, in the morning on the European server uh, at tier three. Uh, so we had a, a bit of fun uh, there in that match in the St. Louis. Uh, so I uh, talked a little bit about containers last time. So actually from that battle, I earned a container. So I click collect container and I want... Yes. The... Hmm, interesting. Because on my NA server, granted I'm much more farther in when, in terms of access level, uh, there should be one that just says more resources, which gives you like uh, coal, free experience, and sometimes you get some signals in that too. Um, but it's not here, so I'm just going to go with more signals and camouflages. So maybe that's at a further access level. You know, you don't really remember the, when you first start out a game like this, uh, what it's like once you get further in. Huh. Got an achievement, open 10 containers. Okay, so this one still, we got signals, we didn't get any camouflages, but we did get free experience. Alright, so, um, I believe we have not had uh, the St. Louis in battle yet, though I just played my first battle in her. And one of the things I like particularly about this Tier 3 American Cruiser is her broadside, um, in terms of not being shot, but the damage output you have. Uh, the St. Louis has 14 guns, you have 7 on each side. Uh, which means um, you can be pretty nasty um, when firing on enemy targets and get uh, some good um, high explosive armor piercing salvos. I actually uh, was a tier three bot in the last battle. I got like two citadels on one, and it wasn't he wasn't even broadside to me, so that was uh, that was interesting. So uh, I'm going to do what I did last battle. Uh, I threw this camouflage on, which reduces our detectability range by C. And then dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship is increased, so they don't have as great as accuracy when firing on us, but it's a very small percentage. Um, signals, uh, I'm not really going to worry about taking any right now. Um, since I just played the ship, I actually just lost my uh, victory bonus. Um, so I'm just going to try to let some things accumulate for right now. Um, granted, it could take fire extinguishing time. Yeah, let's, why not? Let's just take it for the heck of it. You can buy them in the armory, though we don't have access to the armory yet. But you'll see uh, what happens when we get there. So we got our camouflage on, we got a signal mounted. So let's go ahead and dive into the battle and see what happens. Okay, so there seems to be a bit more player population because when I spawned in, it was just immediately loading and it was one human versus one human alongside uh, 11 bots. <laughs> Or was that a full 12 match? I don't even remember now. So it is common when you're at the lower tier like this in random battle that your uh, queue time uh, for a battle is going to be uh, a bit longer. Uh, usually if there's not a lot of player population on, then matchmaking will just go ahead and set you up with having uh, bots on your team and bots on the enemy team, but note that random battles is supposed to be all human players, but at the lower tier like this, they have to generate um, bots usually to fill in the gaps. Otherwise, you would never be able to, uh, as a new player, you'd never be able to progress up um, to where there are more players uh, playing in the game, which you'll find as that the higher you get, the less likely you're able to get uh, bots. Um, sometimes I've had bots when I'm tier 4 ship, but usually when it's in tier 5, tier 6 especially, um, that seems to fall by the wayside. So it looks like there's going to be some bots um, in this match, so let's see what happens. Okay, we have two human players with us. The Kohlberg and the Orion. So 3v3. Uh, this is the G101 player again. Was, he actually, I 
did face him towards the end of the battle and was able to uh, dodge most all of his torpedoes. Well, not most all. I did dodge all of them. Because um, you just... A lot of players who are new just tend to fight when they fire on random players since they kind of experience bots. Just fire on the, the course that the <coughs> torpedoes show you. Which I haven't played a torpedo boat yet. Sorry, I have some breakfast stuck in my throat right now. <clears> throat> Should I <clears throat> clear my throat? Alright. So we start on the flank. We're here in domination mode in ring. So that means in domination mode, it's all four caps. You uh, win by either completely obliterating the enemy team. There's no left. Or you zero point them out. Uh, or you reach a thousand points first uh, in domination. The other one would be like epicenter or... Uh, we haven't had that one yet, or standard battle, where it's just two caps. If you cap the enemy base, you automatically win, regardless if you're the last ship left and there's still 11 enemy ships left. <clears throat> okay, so there are some more battleships. Happy sinking. Now, if you're wondering what I did, there um it, you, i press enter and you can hit tab to all and then if you're division click it again and say to div <clears throat> so depending on things go i think i'm actually gonna utilize this island here so i'm a little bit closer to the action i don't really want it as slow as the two or three ships are i don't really want to go all the way away from what's happening in the center okay so we gotta see uh, or there's the g101 player I pressed B to uh, open that window up again. Oh, no, it's not the G101 player. There's two of them? Yeah. He is not showing on the minimap yet. So it's kind of nice if you can take out the enemy bot destroyers. <clears throat> They're really small, so it's really hard to hit them effectively. And he's already smoked up. Uh, because the torpedo reload time on them is just so quick. Um, so that can be frustrating to actually land accurate shots. Okay, so we're going to focus fire on this Carlos Rue. So we're firing undetected behind this island right now, which works quite well. Okay, you're going slower than I thought. Or something like that. Bots just kind of have a mind of their own, and they just tend to, like, just charge right in. So naturally, that's not as helpful in uh, random battles when your bots just kind of throw themselves in. Oh, come on. Did they die to that one? No. One more salvo. He is sitting still. Backing up would get me spotted by the St. Louis, but torpedoes to port. This is all missed. Oh, now he's gonna fire up his engines again. Okay, well, it did incapacitate his torpedoes for a moment. Might need to focus on this guy instead since he's closest. to be doing so hot in this flank with the bots. It's turning out. I've noticed that it seems like once you damage the bots a little bit, they just turn and run away. But they're also like dumping torpedoes like he is. I'd like to just finish off this spot first, but it's going to be more difficult the further he gets away from us. So we'll switch to this guy. Yeah, look at all that broadside. Yeah, that's St. Louis. He's going the flank. But it looks like our guys are doing all right on that opposing flank. Okay, he's showing broadside. He's not turned out like he was. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna start moving this direction, to kind of kite away-ish. Oh, come on. Let's see if we can finish him with that salvo. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna switch to him. He's going a little bit faster, so we're gonna have to lead him a little bit more. That was disappointing. Get the, that one in the center. Just a little more damage. Torpedoes, direct front. Don't know what that was from. Okay, there's a fire. Freant is pretty. Didn't notice he had that big of a hull. Okay, so maybe we can get him on the salvo. He's still turning. Nope, they got him. So if you notice on the mini map, my outer ring, that's my max firing range, and I'm actually keeping outside of the other human player. Well, actually both of them, because they're all on this flank. So that's why they were so strong in this flank. But, um, and keeping outside of his range works really well. That other destroyer, that G101, he's actually playing really well as a destroyer, and that he's utilizing islands to uh, get torpedo drops. Um, because he has a, a shorter range. Now I'm gonna slow down. Uh, I press A and hold H, my firing range is 11.3, and now the St. Louis uh, player is entering it. I do need to be mindful of the Kaiser there, because I got this low gap in the island, and you can just see he's just sitting dark, but he's got a whole broadside to it, so he could blap us through the island if we're not careful. So he's doing the wise thing. He's he's turning out in a way like he should. I think what we're gonna do. See, he's still behind the island. I'm not detected. Maybe I can get a fire on him. I'd like to go kill that <clears throat> G101 bot. Good, not detected. Good, good. It's nice thing for the arcs to fire right over. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna focus down this guy. We need to chip him down. Now the G101 looks like he's back here in the smoke. Now what I'm doing right now in this American cruiser is actually like, this is really what you do in them. Uh, you actually just find an island and you fire behind it. Okay, there's... Make sure he doesn't lob shells over the island. Okay, this actually isn't looking too well for us. I'm gonna accelerate and I'm gonna turn out and then I'm gonna turn in. If I don't ground the island. I wish not to be outplayed by a bot. No, come on guns, come on. Come on. And this guy's almost dead. Okay, now the Kaiser is turning more in towards me, so. Um, it'd be really bad for me to just uh, charge in. Torpedoes, dead ahead. If he if he decides to come down this way, I'm at a disadvantage. I'm, I kind of wanted to make the loop, but I was afraid of getting torped. So I'm actually going to intentionally ground. This is uh, uh, called in the game uh, not Um It was it's a wargaming. Uh, is he a community contributor? I don't actually remember, um, but if you ground yourself, it's called uh, doing a knot, sir. So if you see someone use that term, you know why. Okay, which way are you gonna go? I think he's gonna come down to this channel. Yeah, he's gonna be kind of stuck there. 
I'd like to go over there and try to get that G101. Oh, he's right there. Colin Berg, where is he at? Okay, so we're going to circle out this way. we got our Romulus bot destroyer. He's going to go cap A, which is great. Yeah, Kaiser's coming this way, so... Going this way was wise. Because it takes his... Him being here takes his guns out of the action, which is uh, what we want for the time being. As you can see, we're still uh, relatively healthy at this point. So basically, I'm just going to play Ring Around Rosie with the Kaiser right now. So we lose some speed when you turn, and then I'm just going to straighten out. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we're, we're gonna completely turn out. Yeah, he's gonna smoke up. He's not even firing his guns, so... Another sign that he's uh, dumping massive amounts of torpedoes right now. But because we knew where he stopped at, we get four more penetrations. So when you turn out in a way like this, uh, it's actually really good. Uh, because you're moving away from the torpedoes. Granted, this isn't the ideal situation with the Kaiser coming around the corner. But when you go like this, um, you have more chances of uh, dodging the torps. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to turn back in. What is my gun smoke round penalty? Five. Because this guy is cons actually concerns me more than the destroyer right now. Where is this gun looking? We're not even looking this way. Oh, there he is. So we get Confederate. Oh, this guy has weird turrets looking this way. Is he turning them or is he going to go towards us? Okay, so this destroyer definitely needs to die. So we're going to cut away from the battleship and have all of our guns focusing the G101. We just perma knocked one of his torpedo tube sets. I don't remember how many he has. Does maybe seem to be paying attention to when we fire our guns. He's a little bit farther away. I'm gonna switch back to this guy. See so if we can get him set on fire. Yeah, it looks yeah, there we go. Great. Our victory is in sight. So yeah, so this is good. You're in a good position now. Uh, when you get Confederate, uh, damage six or more enemy ships, damage cost of each ship must exceed 20% of her normal HP. So that's uh, a very good achievement to get um, because it means you're contributing to your team as a whole um, and damaging mo uh, mo a lot of enemy team players. You have this other one called High Caliber, but that more speaks to just how much damage you've got. Um, that's more it can be just towards on a, a few enemy ships versus half the enemy team. So Confederate is a, a good achievement to get. So we're going to move down this way. Now the Kaiser, he's made a mistake here. Uh, and I, I kind of highlighted already. But he turned away, and he went through this way, and he's turned out, and now he's gone around this way. He's kept his, he moves so slowly, and he's kept his guns out of the action for so long that... He didn't even contribute well to his team. If I was him, I actually would have circled up on me um, because it's hard. Uh, you only do a lot of chip damage at this low tier um, in a cruiser uh, on an enemy battleship. Um, you can set fires, you know, kind of be annoying like that. Pop the M key. Now I see him. Kind of slow it down to get these islands between me and him. Um, but he can take a little bit of damage. Uh, he's not going to win the match, but um, he probably... He may have been able to take me or the Sandlers with him, but... Now he's just going to sit there, which makes shooting him easier for myself and the Orion on my team. He's going to start reversing. That worked perfectly for us, because we just get to sit here. Now, I'm aiming my shells a little bit high. I'm trying to 
land on a superstructure. As the Orion takes him out, um, a lot of HE, if you just hit it low on this torpedo belt, protection, if they even have it at this tier, the hull, you won't do a lot of damage. So there we go, 72,000 credits, 177 experience, 49 free XP, along with the Confederate achievement, and 46,000 damage. So the bot Kuma actually did better than us. Um, I am going to compliment the human players on our team. So the you right click um, and then compliment plays well. And then the Orion, he was had four kills, so he's actually getting close to a Kraken Unleashed. Oh, I should compliment him too. You can compliment your opponents. So a worthy adversary kind of feel. Feels bad, man. We keep killing him. <laughs> okay, now exit out, and we're going to get unlock access level 7. So apparently, um, at the end of that battle, I just went ahead and shut off the video recording as of habit. And I kept recording the audio um, <laughs> and talking further. Uh, total flimsy move. Um, so basically what happened was, is we get the, the same old, same old. We got the little, uh, announcement that we unlocked a new access level. So the access level eight, uh, we got some rewards. We got uh, a million, uh, credits. Uh, we got some, uh, additional flags. We got these, uh, elite or commander XP flags, I believe it was. And we got some more economic signals. Um, so my bad for totally stopping the video recording. Um, so I'll briefly discuss what I went over. It'll be more polished anyhow. Um, so we earned, uh, we were over, I think, 3,000 ship experience. So I went ahead and we upgraded our main battery. So we went from a 10-second reload to a 9-second reload, as well as our turret traverse time improving from 30 seconds to 22.5 seconds. Our uh, main battery firing range was 11.3. Now we're at 12.5. Now, the big thing we just unlocked with the access level was commanders, ship commanders. So basically, this enhances your ship's characteristics when you master these certain skills. Note, this says skills for cruisers. So if I, I click this, um, I can switch between on this commander, between destroyers, cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers. Uh, and soon, uh, submarines will also be in the game. So there'll be uh, another little icon there. Um, so uh, with a ship commander, I'll just kind of talk about a few basic things real quick on him. Uh, you have to learn com earn Commander XP. So XP, XP required to receive a skill point. Uh, you can buff it even sooner. Um, you can use um, free experience. I do not recommend this. Keep your free experience. Um, I'm going to be discussing more on that later on because uh, there will be some big benefits there. If you hang on to the free experience, um, but you get to master these skills. So this row of skills is one, worth one point. This row of skills is worth two points. This row of skills is worth three points. And this row of skills is worth four points. Now, some of you have been progressing through the game much uh, quicker than myself and um, have been asking different questions. So let's say you've got uh, several skill points on your commander already. Well, in the terms of a cruiser like the St. Louis at tier three, what skills would I recommend taking? Let's say you have a three-point commander already. It doesn't take too much to get to there. Um, for a three-point commander, I would recommend something like this. Now, when I click on this, it actually, I get this little triangle here. So if it's, that's, if I don't have it selected, no triangle. Um, but it's telling me that my 180 degree turn time, second one down, my turret traverse is gonna be improved from 22.5 seconds to 19.6 seconds. Um, which is really good. You, you saw in that battle that I was actually out turning my guns uh, when we had that enemy bot G101 in the center of the map there. So this uh, helps you avoid um, that. So we get quicker uh, turning guns. And then priority target, which will tell you how many ships are targeting, enemy ships are targeting your ship. So it was like all of a sudden there's like five or three, four, five. That means you should probably be cutting away, disengaging, or get behind cover uh, an island or something like that. Um, now, if you don't want to grease the gears, you could also do last stand, but this is more of a destroyer skill, I would say. You saw in that whole battle, our steering gears uh, and our uh, engine uh, did not get knocked out. Um, but that might change once we get to the higher skills or 
higher tiered ship, I have to look at what I have on some of my other uh, ships on my NA server. Um, but like the point would be that, then I'd say Adrenaline Rush, then Concealment Expert. Adrenaline Rush basically enhances your ship's parameter for each 1% of HP lost through health pull of your ship. Uh, meaning your guns are going to reload faster, if you have torpedoes, they're going to reload faster, your secondary battery reload time is going to reload faster, your continuous AA damage is going to be increased. And then with the uh, airstrike, that's Dutch cruisers, um, which uh, are just came out in the game. Concealment Expert um, drops our concealment down, so right now it's detectability by C, 10%, or 10%, 11 kilometers, if I click on this. It even drops it down to 9.9, .9, as well as our detectability range by air goes to 4.6. And then if I throw a camouflage on with this on, it should drop down to like 9.7, 9.6, something like that. Then you click master, but we don't have any skill points for our commander yet. So we'll be discussing commanders uh, along the way. It's kind of one of those things we have to do um, as we progress through the game. Now, what I do want to say is that uh, I've been featuring a cruiser play thus far. We're in uh, part eight. Uh, I'm going to switch to the Samson for part nine, uh, tier two US destroyer. Uh, we're going to, I've been playing destroyers actually mostly uh, to a certain extent on the North American server. Um, and I really enjoy playing destroyers. And so I'm going to showcase this. I'm going to showcase smoke, uh, engine boost, we're going to talk about some, uh, a different ship class in the game for you guys, um, and uh, helping you out uh, is the goal. So uh, we'll be doing this ship next, so looking forward to that. And then the next access level we unlock will be combat missions. So um, that will be good things because you get valuable rewards uh, from the combat missions. It's kind of uh, a way uh, why Wargaming does this, the maker of Order Warships. It kind of keeps you playing the game longer. The more you play the game, the better for Wargaming. So um, it's kind of incentivized to keep you playing. So that is going to be uh, today's video. Um, appreciate you all tuning in. It seems to be a lot more of you uh, catching uh, this series for the first time um, as I produce it. Ideally, of course, it'd be great if I had like 30 more videos of this already done, but uh, future generations uh, will be able to enjoy this let's say several months from now when there's uh, many more of these videos they can just book through them at heart's uh, content but for now uh, you guys kind of get the experience um, going through uh, the game uh, with me so on that note if you like today's video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down subscribe if you do want to see more and if you haven't uh, subscribed really appreciate it so until next time take care